All right, welcome back to this video series that we're, uh, where we're covering how you can optimize your health through these five simple tips that we're talking about today. On this video, the one that we want to talk about is positive mental attitude. And this one is so important, we're going to call it PMA. Now, I, there's been a lot of talk these days about how the way that we think affects our health and how our bodies heal and function and whatnot. And it's really important that we cover this topic. But the first thing I want to say about this is, do you believe that you deserve to be happy? You see, everybody deserves happiness in their life, but some people, if you watch them, if you really observe how they live their lives, they put themselves in situations over and over and over again, and they're constantly unhappy. You know these people that I'm talking about, right? <laughs> some people I just don't think want to be happy. They somehow get something out of that, and personally, I just don't know how that works for them. But you've got to figure out how to be happy, and the first step in that is understanding that you deserve to be happy, and owning that, and acknowledging that it's okay for you to have a happy life and to enjoy yourself through this life, okay? Now, I'm really big into affirmations, um, into positive thinking. I, I read stuff about this all the time. It's a part of my daily life. And one of the things that you have to realize is that your brain doesn't really know the difference between something that it's seeing in your mind as opposed to something that it's seeing in your reality. And a really good example of this is if you think about a lemon, just take a think about a lemon and imagine yourself cutting into that lemon. And then imagine yourself taking a wedge from the lemon and biting into it and feeling the juice go into your mouth. Chances are you just experience your salivary glands creating saliva, okay, just from thinking about biting into that lemon. That's what happens to most people. And the reason for that is your brain didn't know the difference between whether I was thinking about a lemon or whether it was a real lemon that I was eating into. The body is still going to respond based on what you're seeing in your head. And whenever you are talking about trying to improve your life or trying to achieve something positive in your life, um, I do that a lot of times through affirmations and through thinking and visualizing what I want to see change and what I want to see happen um, in order for me to feel happy and to feel successful in life. So that's really important that you realize that what you imagine and what you can see in your mind to your brain, that's the reality and that's what you're going to draw to yourself. So it's important that you have written goals and that you have written affirmations and that you think about these things on a daily basis, but more importantly than that is that you create an image of what that looks like in your life and you imagine and visualize that image as often as you can throughout your daily basis. That image is what creates the reality uh, from your brain into what we experience into the real world. So that's really important. The next thing that we want to talk about here when it comes to positive mental attitude is that it's very important that you be thankful for what you have. You see, whatever it is that you want more of or, or whatever it is that you want more of in your life, you have to be thankful for whatever you already have in that field. So if it's more money that you're trying to draw into your life, you have to be thankful for the money that you have. If it's better health that you want into your life, you have to be thankful for the level of health that you have or the level of fitness or whatever else it is that you're thinking in your mind is your goal um, and your ultimate desire to achieve, okay? So be thankful for what you have and that's going to draw more to you. The final thing is forgiveness. You know, this is a really um, interesting topic to talk about because I think a lot of people feel like if you forgive someone so for something that they've done to you, that you're basically saying, it's okay that you did that to me and you're allowed to keep doing that. And that's really not the case. You see, when you hold a grudge or when you feel someone has done you wrong, that doesn't affect that person at all. I mean, do you ever stop and think about that? The only person who actually suffers from that, from holding on to that, is you. You're the one who has an issue with it and who thinks about it and who it bothers. But to the person who did that to you, they could care less. They're not even thinking about you or what they did to you. So forgiveness is really about trying to move on and let those things go so that they don't crowd your mind and keep control over how you feel about yourself and, and about your life. If you want to be happy, you have to learn to forgive people, which isn't saying it's okay that you did that and you can keep doing that. No, what it's saying is you did that, it was awful, but I'm not going to let you take another minute of my life thinking about what you did to me because it's not worth my time or effort. I've got better things to think about and better things to do with myself, right? So that's really what forgiveness is all about. So think about that. Think about the things that you've held on to and that have continued to bother you and affect you in your life and try to let those things go and get over them so that way you can move on and you can experience a better life yourself, all right? Okay, I think that's plenty to talk about as far as positive mental attitude is concerned. On the next video, which will be the last one, we're going to be talking about structure 
or the structure of your body. And I kind of talked a little bit about this earlier when we were talking about arthritis and how as we get older, that's the thing that affects us the most. So we're going to go into some more detail on how we can improve upon that and make sure that you're as healthy as you possibly can be in every way possible. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.